Hi guys, so the next step for you before you do anything will be to set up Google Analytics. And I'm going to show you how to do that here and I'm also going to explain what Google Analytics allows you to do. So first things first, how do you set up the account? So it's free for anyone to go to. Go to analytics.google.com, call your account whatever you want, Craig's website or whatever you may be. So just put whatever you want in, um, scroll down and basically follow the uh, things that are asked of you. Now you can have up to a hundred accounts on one Google Analytics email. Um, so I've got 62, the maximum is 100, so I can go ahead and create another one. And you can call the, the name, whatever you want to call it. You can again call it Craig's site, um, put in your reporting time zone, United Kingdom, there we are. Currency, if you, if you really want to drill down into that level of data, then it would be GBP, Great British Pound, um, click next and it asks you for more information about the business which I'm just going to randomly put in so increase the conversions whatever and um, so I can click create and what happens is I need to accept the terms and conditions when I'm setting up this analytics account and um, so I can click I accept and I have essentially got my analytics set up um, and you'll be able to see that, you know, I can choose a platform, uh, you know, whether it's a website, an app or whatever. So I'm going to click web, put my website name in and stream name. Now I've already got all of this done and it basically gives you a snippet of code. And if you <coughs> can add that to the header of your website or your template, then it will allow you to basically analyze everything that goes through your website. Now, if you're not sure about code and you're a bit scared of touching that side of your website, there is a plugin for WordPress, which most of you will be using, called Header and Footer Scripts. And you simply copy and paste that header, header script in the header section, click Save Settings, job done. You don't have to mess around with the code in your website. Now, when it comes to analytics, it's all installed. It will give you your information day on day on day and you can basically see your traffic in real time or a whole bunch of other stuff. Now obviously that's the last month's traffic for me and uh, you can see obviously it dipped away down around about the Christmas period and so on and I've got these amount of users on the website uh, at you know for the last 30 days now i can see active users i can see demographics interest geo specific stuff behavior technology mobile cross device all of that stuff and it's also got a nice users flow uh, which i can also have a look at um so where they're coming from and everything else and, and what sort of things they're looking for now that helps me identify you know, if I've got people from India who are starting off there and they're going into my training, my advanced course, uh, my link building packages, then I know what the Indian's audience is looking for and I can feed them more content based on the actual analytics. Rather than guessing what people look for, I can use data to make those decisions. Now, <coughs> looking at some of the other options here, again, you know, you can see that, uh, you know, half of the audience have been on a, a desktop, half of them are on mobile and tablet. So again, I need to make sure that my website works on all of these platforms. Now I can also check the design, device specific and a lot of the people are on Apple iPhones. So again, you can optimize your website for that and that is it. Now, essentially that is what you want to um, do to constantly refine your website. Now there's a whole bunch of other data such as demographics, interests, overview, and that's not actually set up, but the, you know, geographic specific, uh, language, location, um, you can basically drill down into all of that data and see what is going on. Is it new customers versus returning customers and all of that type of stuff. And most of the people that hit my website 86.70% are new people, which is probably a good thing. 
But if you're doing a whole bunch of marketing, um, you'll be able to see that 44% of my traffic comes through organic search, um, direct 1,900, social media I'm quite active on, 1,700 people end up on my website through social media, and if I had paid advertising and whatever, that would also be there as well. Um, and you can also drill down into what social media, um, and I don't actually have that set up, but I could essentially see that Facebook works the best for me, then YouTube and so on. Now, that is essentially shown me that Facebook is the best platform. It's the one I'm most active on. If I was spending money, I would know that my money's better spent on Facebook. I don't spend that much money on it, to be honest. Um, and I don't send everyone direct to my website through my social media. I send a lot of people to my YouTube and stuff like that. So essentially what you want to do is set this stuff up and analyze your website and you can fully understand what is working, what conversions are going on, what your landing pages are like, if your ads are working, and you can track conversions and everything else. Now, again, I don't really have all of that set up because it's more of an informational website, but if you've got a large e-commerce store, you can put all of that data into your analy analytics and you can actually use that data to make the decisions based on further enhancing your marketing campaigns. And that is one of the very first things you would want to set up in your website, or if you get a new client, set this up right from the get-go so that you start get collecting that data and you'll be using that later on to your advantage to further refine these campaigns and actually sound like you know what you're talking about as well. Um, so that is Google Analytics in a nutshell. Go away, set it up. It's really simple and easy and it's free to use. So go away and do that just now.